I've been giving a lot of love to QQ lately, and I felt like Sele deserves some attention. So, uh, again, <laughs> I enjoy both of them quite a bit, and Sele is, of course, touted as the strongest DPS in the game, and this is a really good showing of it. So, before I even begin, I want to show you how close Sele, Tingyun, and Branya are to 50% HP, which would trigger Luocha's auto heal. But I tuned enough HP in defense and had to use less offensive relics on even Sele just so that they wouldn't trigger Luocha's heal. And the reason for that is because I need Luocha to have two Abyss flower stacks for the last phase so that his field is up. Um, so we're not using Tingyun's burst. Uh, first Genshin Brain Rock. Alt until the last phase as well. Um, so you'll see it's kind of like it's pretty methodical. Everything was planned out. Um, I got lucky on the first turn with Branya's E1 skill point reset. Um, I don't think it matters too much because we are at a net positive skill point uh, count at the end, but um, it could be something that makes a difference if it's in a longer fight, of course. So the idea here is targeting down the Arumaton guy uh, before he even gets one of his sanction attacks off so that we don't even need Gocha to use his auto heal. Um, so that's important for this run. And the other thing is you want to make sure Benediction, Tingyun's E, is up on Sele every single time. Um, you can check it from the three dots at the bottom, but I was just checking other buffs, like seeing if Branya's alt was still active, but of course it wasn't. This is unfortunate, triggers the auto heal. Would have rather had it happen on the Arumaton when it goes into its frenzy mode from, what is it, Sanction? But uh, the run still goes pretty smoothly. We want to do the same thing by focusing this guy down. I do make a big mistake though, and you'll see um, what that is uh, just coming up in a second. <laughs> Realistically, I should have used Luocha's ult way earlier to drop the field. Because he's at E1, he also gives a 20% attack bonus with it. So I wouldn't have had any problem sustaining uh, this, <laughs> this fight, but I just didn't use it. Like, I should have used it right here. Um, Tingyun is the only time you're using her ult, and this is when it would have mattered. I should have used the ult first, and then Luocha would have survived. See. Uh, he didn't get any heal. <laughs> it's a little bit unfortunate, but um, the run is still salvageable. This is when the skill would have been good, but it's okay. He gets killed, and it looks dicey. It looks like it's not going to happen anymore, but we pull through. So these things pop because the Arumaton drops. I didn't say that, but I do some mental math here. Make sure that I have enough skill points. I don't want to mess this up after coming so far. Um, I do have the basic. This is what I mean by I, I do have net one skill point. So when Branya got that lucky reset earlier, it wasn't really impactful. And we are able to finish it off, of course, with a final Sele alt and skill. So really happy about this run. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. It takes only a second. But yeah, let's get on to the builds. Okay, let's go over the builds. So this is my Sele, almost one to two crit ratio. Um, she's got a good amount of attack percent from substats, S1 and E0. Let's look at her traces. I'm, I've been meaning to max her out completely, but you can see by my credits that I just don't have enough, <laughs> not even close. So it's getting there. Um, now, funny enough, this isn't her best damaging set or best four piece because I need to add some bulk to survive but even then this is a pretty crack set like if I wanted to I think it's this this is her ratio um where is it there we go on QQ <laughs> this is her best relic set of course but um she wouldn't be able to survive her HP would be too low uh, but it is what it is let's take a look at our other supports Lucha best healer of course um, he's on full healer build right now uh, echoes traces same as the last video four musketeer um, with healing bonus speed attack and er of course i got unlucky and he died but it is what it is this one helps like it's not crazy but it does help a bit um now we'll look at branya 
Vibranya is not very well built. I mean, she does have her signature as well as E1, but you'll take a look here. I'm trying to get her talents up, but again, out of resources. And for relics, she's running a couple. Oh God, there's this. I should have run HP on that one, but it is what it is. Four piece musketeer, four star. I need to get new, new musketeer pieces. Yeah, this is sad. Um, yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure it's still doable without this. I think it only procced one or if it procced twice and it becomes a lot harder to zero turn, but yeah, it's really good idol on. Um, fortunately, it's not very accessible. Tingyun MVP um, because we have her benediction up almost 100% of the time. I usually run her on memories of the past, but for this speed run, you only get your alt once. So dance, dance, dance for that one specific turn is great. Um, usually you want to level the alt first, but for speed running, skill is better. Um, and again, we are out of resources. Her relics, again, I am very limited on resources, so don't have too much for her. Um, had to put HP on her so she can live through and E6. So that's everything. I will see you next time.